Hello, Doug Trevino here, Realtor with Maxim Realtors in Southwest Florida. I uh, wanted to take a quick minute and do a, a blog here, an update on for sale by owners um, situations. I was just over to one of the parks here in Cape Coral um, with my daughter and uh, driving by and I noticed there were four homes that had for sale by owner signs in them in the front yard. and. There have been these signs in this yard for at least the past three months. Um, and that's probably about the time that I started noticing them. Um, since then, they're still there. I don't know how, you know, before the I started noticing how long they were there. Um, so they've been there for a while. Um, I stopped by one of the houses uh, just yesterday. And uh, took a second and I met the homeowner. And, and uh, he invited me in and I explained what I do and... Uh, how I help people and how, in many cases, I can be able to get uh, sellers more money for their job, for their house. I can net them more money than if they were to just be on their own. Um, a lot of for sale by owner folks who try it on their own don't realize that by doing it on their own, they think they're going to save the commission, <clears throat> but don't understand the back end of it is that very likely when, if, especially if it's purchased with a realtor, a buyer has a realtor in, in hand, that many times they're going to ask for the higher percent commission anyway. Uh, number two, they know that the for sale by owner is trying to save money and therefore they're going to try to come in a lot lower thinking that, you know, had they gone through a realtor they would have come down anyway. Um, so a lot of the offers come in a lot lower than what they're asking. Um, these are just the offer situations in terms of trying to save the money. The biggest problem that a lot of folks face is that they sit on the house for a long time long time because they only have a few marketing options available to them. Um, unless they're a, a professional marketer, they have access to everything that realtors do and they can spend all of their time marketing, that's an advantage, but they still don't have access to the MLS. But that's definitely more advantageous than the typical for sale by owner um, seller who does not. And most of them rely on the most passive, passive marketing techniques available. Ads in the paper, ads in magazines, um, sign in the front yard, and open houses. Um, to me it just seems it, it seems like you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're trying to save a penny but you're losing a dollar. Um, instead of going with a realtor, someone who's aggressive, who knows the market and can get you a buyer much sooner than you would think and be able to negotiate on your behalf to get you a higher dollar amount, to net you more money. Um, in many cases, this is your biggest asset or can be your biggest asset depending on who you are, but it's, for most people it's their biggest asset. <clears throat> They're very much emotionally tied to that property and the price and there's a lot of feelings in the house and if somebody offers low, there's a lot of emotions about where a realtor who acts on your behalf um, is devoid of that emotion and has one thing in mind to net his client or her client the most money possible and they are trained negotiators they're trained to be able to close a deal and you know make it work for their clients best interest um, you do you get what you pay for if you try to skimp you're gonna have a lot of trouble and for you know many people when they're doing for sale by owners point is I met with this one owner in particular um, I'm going to sit with him again at the end of the week when his wife is around. She's up in New York um, for this particular property, but we're going to list the property. Uh, I spent about 20 minutes with him discussing what's been happening, what he's been struggling with, um, what his successes were, you know, where, where have things gone right. Bottom line, he has no buyer. He hasn't had the activity that he needed. Um, so the biggest point of why he's doing this, he's struggling and he's not coming through or he's failing in that regard. So he said, absolutely, let's get it done. You know, had he, he said, had I known before I started this that I'd be going through the ringer, I wouldn't have done this. Um, unfortunately, I'm hearing that a lot. Um, fortunately, I'm there for those people, uh, and hopefully they find other, other people find other realtors in the end to help them out um, of their predicament. But for sale by owner, if you're contemplating this or you know someone who has had their house on the market themselves and is marketing, tell them to pick up the phone and call a realtor, call me. Um, I'm always available. Um, if it's in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Bonita Springs, Estero, even Naples, that's where I first started. 
Um, my number is 239-410-4460. Um, always available to answer questions. Obviously, there's no obligation if you call. Um, um, but I advise always speak with a realtor because they may be able to help. More than likely be able to sell your property much much more quickly than, than you've been able to or uh, if you know somebody more than quickly than they've been able to. So uh, quick update on, on for sale by owners. If you know anyone, absolutely give me a call. Direct them to my website even. If you don't want to give them a phone number, tell them to go to the website and have a look. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for taking the time to watch uh, this quick update, and I hope things are well. Take care.